welcome to Matsuri Navi. I came all the way to Tochigi Prefecture today because of this festival, which is Kanuma Autumn Festival. Now we are in Kanuma City, which is in the middle of Tochigi Prefecture. So we're gonna see all the float, beautiful carving float, all lined up. And this is famous for this float festival. So let's explore it. This Kanuma festival is enrolled in UNESCO's Intangible Cultural Heritage in 2016. So it's become very famous festival in Japan. All the floats gathered in this shrine called Imamiya Shrine. At noon, beautiful floats covered all over with carvings are coming into Imamiya Shrine one by one to offer a prayer. This festival started in Edo era to remember the hardships of the past and pray for peace and good harvest. It features traditional music, taiko drumming, and elaborate hand-carved wooden float. Float is about 3 meters wide, 4 meters long, and 4 meters high. There are 27 floats in Kanuma City. Some of them are made in Edo era and have been repaired over and over again but preserved beautifully until today. Each float has different carvings. They are so delicate and magnificent. I never get bored by watching them. Such an impressive skills of local craftsmen. Kanuma City shares the same culture area with the World Heritage Temple and Shrines of Nikko. The skilled craftsmen who built and repaired the Nikko Temple and Shrine live in Kanuma City. Costumes, makeups, and music makes carving floats more spectacular. And these young girls too. You can never miss these outstanding hairstyles of young girls, especially for this festival. Don't forget all the food stands at festival. At this Kanuma Autumn Festival, there are so many food stands alongside the street. Yakisoba, Okonomiyaki, Kushiyaki... Which one shall I try today? Mmm, it's too many to choose from. Finally, I decided to try this typical festival sweet, Anapo lollipop. <laughs> Look at this, it's a big apple candy. So basically it's a whole apple coated with candy. Ooh. It takes hours and hours to finish it. Very, very sweet. It's too big. I bite it. Because I can't wait to eat apple. I bought this drink, strawberry and milk. Because Tochigi Prefecture is famous for Tochiotome strawberry. So let's drink. Oh, it's very thick, very strong milk taste and fresh strawberry. Mm. Mm, I like this very much. It's very nice. At evening, carving floats are coming up from Imamiya Shrine to the street one by one.
Can you see lanterns on the carving float? Names of the town are written on the lanterns. Each carving float belongs to different town in Kanama City and also maneuvered by local men and women. It takes quite a time for one carving float to come up from Imamiya Shrine because there is no engines or power but maneuvered by people's hands. By the time all the floats are out in the street, the sun had already gone and the night had begun. Some of the floats meet each other at crossing. I saw seven floats at the crossing where I was. The crossing became bustling by audience and music from Seven Float. But this is not the main event yet. The float, each with a taiko drumming team inside, do musical battle as they pass each other in the street. The highlight of this festival is called Butsuke. The musical battle is about to start. Little by little, each float are getting close to the center of the crossing. The more they get close, the more it gets excited. Now, all the seven floats gathered in very close distance. Their music and excitement reached its climax. I had goosebumps and felt some sort of soul in their music. It was such a wonderful atmosphere. You can't feel that just by watching it on screen. You know what I mean if you feel the air, their beat and enthusiasm in real. Why don't you come and visit Kanama Autumn Festival? <laughs>